Hi there guys, very quickly before we get started today with our review slash unboxing of issue number 28, I wanna very quickly go through the prize for this week. So this video, along with the video that went up this morning, which was a belated issue number 27, includes both parts of the Rhino tank, which I'll be building in, in this episode today. So the prize for this week is issue 25 and 24, which is our Redemptor Dreadnought. Issue 27 and 28, which is our Rhino. I'm gonna throw in issue number 29, which is a Primaris Inceptor, an Intercessor, a, I believe they're called Hell Blasters with the plasma guns, and a Captain. So, much more in this we usually do. And also, I'm gonna chuck in a Citadel Paint Pot. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to win that whole lot and it will post anywhere in the world as long as Royal Mail will do it. So, issue number 28. So what I'm gonna do is, issue number 27, I didn't build the sprue, so I'll do that as part of today because it's all for one model. And then we'll go through the actual sprue for issue number 28 as well. I'm gonna briefly whisk through the magazine element. And then I'll have a quick sum up at the end. Okay, in this issue, it's time to complete your Rhino this week. And this issue has a detailed paint guide to help you do it. Since it's your first tank, painting the Rhino will be a little different than what you've already painted. Painting your first tank can seem, can seem intimidating but many painters find painting tanks easier than painting smaller models. Just follow our step-by-step -step guide and you'll have it done before you know it. Happy hobbying, Ian. Okay, so in this issue, Predator, tank ba uh, Predator Battle Tank, learn about the main battle tank of the Space Marines. Death Guard Predators, discover these decrepit but powerful war machines. Death on Damnos, Ultramarines Armor Battles, Necrons on Damnos. Mortarian, add to Death Guard Champions number one. Death Guard Rhino, a detailed paint, detailed paint guide for your Death Guard Rhino. And then tutorial 24, transports, then the Rhino data sheet, and then mechanized warfare, Death Guard, oh sorry, then mechanized warfare, our rules mission number 12. Death Guard armor tries to break through enemy lines. So pretty good. Okay, so the first section we've got here is Predator Battle Tank. Predator battle tanks are the most heavily armed and armoured vehicles based on the Rhino STC chassis. With reinforced front armour and a number of weapon options, Predator tanks are versatile vehicles that act as the main battle tanks of the Adeptus Astartes. And they do look cool as well. So it crews two Space Marines. It has LAS cannons or Predator auto cannons. It's got some optional ones of heavy bolters, uh, LAS cannons, sponsons. Pintle Mounted Storm Bolt or whatever that is and Hunter Killer, Hunter Killer Missiles. It's got about what the engines are, what the weight is, 44 tons. Um, equipment it carries is smoke launchers. Very, very good. And it's got something about its, oh, its origin is from Mars. Okay, so it's got a seven armor rating, a six speed and a five power of seven as well. So pretty good. Okay, now the Predator Chassis. Space Marine chapters use two main patterns of Predator Battle Tank, each designed to fulfil a different battlefield role. So they've got Annihilators and Destructors. Uh, and so looking at these, they're both the same, except the weapons are slightly different. Um, and then it's got a, like a, almost a, uh, it's got a breakdown of all the technology that's inside them as well, which is good. Right, Predator Battle Tank. The Death Guard may not treat their Predator tanks with the same respect as their Space Marine enemies but they too see the value of this reliable and deadly vehicle. Cool. Right, so they've got some different types here. Excoriator is an older model predator of the Purge. During the assault on St. Gellius, it destroyed an entire PDF platoon. Wow. And the next one is Scorn. This predator serves the Tainted Sons. It enjoys destroying loyalist tanks and watching them burn. And Gorgos. Gorgos is a member of the Pallid Hand, the Victorium, who are part of the Second Plague Company. It has led many armoured spearheads, which is cool. 
The next section, 40k Battles 14, is death on Damnos. The frozen ice world of Damnos held a chilling secret beneath its surface for thousands of years. Without warning, an entire army of Necrons awoke emerging from below to wage war on unsuspecting human settlers. Only the intervention of the Spain Marines could stem the tide. Okay, cool. So we've got a couple of pages on that. Then we've got Mortarian, who is the big bad when it comes to Death Guard. Mortarian's earliest years are shrouded in mystery and myth. In the Imperium, knowledge of Mortarian and his homeworld is forbidden to all but the highest officials. Aside from the Primarch of the Death Guard and the Emperor of Mankind, it is doubtful any still live who know the story of his origin on the poisonous world of Barbarus. Nice. A couple of pages on that. Death Guard painting. I'm not going to run through all this, but I'll tell you that the shades you need are Agrax Earth Shade, Nolan Oil, and Reichlin Flesh Shades. Uh, the rest on here are all bases. So we've got McCraig Blue, Death Guard Green, Rikar Flesh, Retributor Armor, Abaddon Black, Lead Belcher, and Mephiston Red. And there you go. This is quite a big paint guide, actually. Very good, very good. Okay. Tutorial 24, Transports. You have already received a copy of the core rules, which has the full rules for transport. This section explains the concepts on your rules reference card. After you've read this section, read the rules for transports. So it talks about capacity mainly. So how many models you can get in there and all that kind of stuff. Models, embarking, so that's how you get on. Disembarking, how you get off. And some more other stuff, which is cool. Then we've got the Chaos Rhino um, data sheet. So the weapon is a combi bolter, which is a 24 inch range. So this, this no matter what, it only, it only deals one damage anyway. Uh, and it's got a Havoc launcher as well. And it goes through its all abilities and that kind of thing. So that too is awesome. Mission 12, rules mission 12, mechanized warfare. The Death Guard Rhino rumbled through the Barakia streets, engines spluttering and coughing in a sickly fashion. Gouts of thick black smoke drifted from rust encrusted exhaust pipes. Plague Marines squatted inside the cramped interior of the battered, of the battered looking vehicle. They were cushioned by a layer of de demonic flesh that grew within the rusting decayed machine. That sounds grim. Okay, and it's got our typical transmission, which gives us a little bit more flavor text as we get on there. Okay, so armored assault. The Death Guard have weathered the storm of Space Marine attacks, and now it's time to counter. They seek to break through the enemy lines with Rhino transports and Mephitic Blight Haulers. The Death Guard attack is backed by plenty of armor this time. Can the Space Marines hold the line? Okay, so this looks pretty good. Okay. So the armies on here are the Blight Hauler, 12 Pox Walkers, the Rhino and 5 Plague Marines, up against 5 Intercessors, 2 Hellblasters, the Redemptor Dreadnought and the Librarian. So this is good. So the Pox Walkers, they all start in this section here and then the Rhino comes in off the street. So it's, it doesn't start actually on the map um, and the Rhino is actually carrying the five plague marines so that's cool i like the magazine today so generally with the magazine i suppose if we get something boring on the sprues like or you know something crappy on the on the sprues or some paints and that kind of thing we generally get a good magazine to go with it just in the same way as if we get something exciting and um, the magazine tends to be crap but I like it today. It's very cool. It's very cool. Right. So I think we'll build this lot, which means that we must briefly head back to issue number 27, because that is where we have a how to build guide. So I'll build this up. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so that is everything from issue 27, assembled and complete. There are a 
few little extra bits that are still on the sprues, which I'm sure we'll find out about in a minute. Um, so yeah, so now let's get on to the stuff from issue 28. And this is for the weapons and hull details. Okay, so there's roughly kind of our tank. I haven't added too many of the upgrades because I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it, but I wanted to do something I could show you guys today. The one thing I've done, which is off piste, is that the normally you wouldn't have two guys at the front here, you normally just have one because um, there isn't actually enough space in there to be able to do it. But what I did was I used my mold line removing tool to dig out some extra space so I could get them both in. Um, you can actually leave these unglued if you use one at a time so you can swap things out and that. Um, they are quite a snug fit so it, you know it's not a bad not a bad fit. But there you go that's our Rhino. Um, what I'll do is maybe I'll come back and have another look at it next week when I've added a few more of these upgrades on or sorry a few of these kind of changes on uh, just so we can have another look at it so i hope you enjoyed that so my final thing i'm going to say is about the competition so just to confirm the prize is issues 24 and 25 which is the redemptive dreadnought issues 27 and 28 which is our chaos rhino issue 29 which is our primaris captain an intercessor uh, a hell blaster and a Inceptor, and finally the Citadel paint pot. And all you need to do to be in with a chance of winning that is subscribe and comment. That's all you need to do to be in with a chance. Now, usually I'd be saying 3,000 views to kind of cross that threshold, which is quite a lot because I only got the first issue um, uploaded earlier today. It's gonna to be really tough to do that. So share this video wherever you can, try and get those numbers up. And I think maybe I'll be a bit lenient this time and kind of, if we just shy of the 3,000, I'll absolutely go ahead and post it out. So, postage worldwide. So, anyway, that's enough from me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. If you didn't, let me know why. See you later.